Today I will talk about Neuroblastoma, medullary tumor in adrenal glands. Neuroblastoma. Neuroblastoma, also called a sympathicoblastoma, is a common malignant tumor of neural crest cells, occurring most commonly in children under 5 years of age. Vast majority of cases occur within the abdomen, in the adrenal medulla and paravertebral autonomic ganglia, and rarely in the cerebral hemisphere. Most cases are sporadic but 1-2% to cases are familial with autosomal dominant transmission. Familial cases are known to have germline mutation of ALK, anaplastic lymphoma kinase, gene. Clinical features. The clinical manifestations of neuroblastoma are related to its rapid local growth, metastatic spread or development of hormonal syndrome. Local symptoms include abdominal distension, fever, weight loss and malaise. Foci of calcification may be observed on radiologic examination of the abdomen. Metastatic spread occurs early and widely through hematogenous, as well as lymphatic routes and involves bones, especially skull, liver, lungs and regional lymph nodes. Morphologic features. Grossly, the tumor is generally large, soft and lobulated mass with extensive areas of necrosis and hemorrhages. The tumor is usually diffusely infiltrating into the adjacent tissues. Cut surface of the tumor is gray-white and may reveal minute foci of calcification. Microscopically, neuroblastoma has the following characteristics. 1. The tumor cells are small, round and oval, slightly larger than lymphocytes, and have scanty and poorly defined cytoplasm and hyperchromatic nuclei. 2. They are generally arranged in irregular sheets separated by fibrovascular stroma. 3. Classical neuroblastomas show Homer writes rosettes, pseudorosettes, which have a central fibrillary eosinophilic material surrounded by radially arranged tumor cells. 4. The tumor cells stain positively with immunohistochemical markers such as neuron specific enolase. NSC, neurofilaments, NF, and chromogranin. Prognosis. Prognosis of neuroblastoma depends upon a few variables. I, age of child below 2 years. 2, extra abdominal location of the tumor than abdominal. Masses. 3, tumor histology with Schwannian or ganglionic. Differentiation. 4, patients in clinical stage I confined to the organ of origin. Or stage 2, tumor extending in continuity beyond the organ of origin but not crossing the midline.